which is why we love working with the military guys, the special forces yeah. that come through the boot camp. They understand the importance of body language. Yes, they do. And they've already put in a lot of work on it. But a lot of us right now, we're sitting in jobs where we're at our computer, yep. our posture's crap, and maybe we work out a little bit, but we're not paying close attention to our body language. And a lot of times we get so caught up in other people's body language because we're trying to read and manipulate and figure out all this stuff about them that we're not even paying attention to all of these signals we're shooting out to the rest of the world. So why is body language so important? And we talked a little bit about this demonstration, but you talk about this in class, about the different perspective people would have just based on subtle changes in body language. Yep. And understanding that if I were to slouch down, make myself small, avoid eye contact, and tell you that I'm confident, what would you believe? Uh, well, I'm going to go with what you're projecting. I'm going to go with your body language. Now imagine <laughs> if I stand up tall, I put my chest out, my arms are at my side, I got a big smile on, I look you in the face and I say, I'm shy. Yeah. Which are you going to believe? Once again, body language. Yes. So the body language signal, and there are a lot of numbers quoted. There are studies that we don't firmly believe about the percentage of body language, but we can all agree that body language is a very important signal. And as we talk about here at Heart of Charm, let's control what we can control before we start worrying about what other people are doing. And we can control our body language. Mm -hmm. We can easily change and shift our body language without too much extra effort and energy. It's some simple things that we can do, and we're going to talk about specific signals in a bit, but when your words and when your body language are in misalignment, what happens, Johnny? Well, there's a lot of confusion, and there's confusion within yourself, and there's confusion, at, well, everyone else is going to go with the behaviors and actions, but for yourself, it becomes confusing of, of I believe this, but I'm acting in this manner, so we have a Cognitive dissonance that's going on. And what happens is you lose people's trust. Yes. Period, point blank. And we see this in politicians, right? Why do some politicians fall for the gotcha moments when other politicians who will go unnamed don't have these same <laughs> moments, right? And again, it typically comes down to all of the body language signals that led to that point that led someone to now believe and double down that gaffe instead of overcome that gaffe. So your body language, when it's in misalignment with your words, is detrimental to your message. And if you want to communicate more effectively, whether it's dating, networking, or in your career, you need to take control and charge of that body language. 